Because Cisco Spark is a cloud-based service, it's important to ensure your users and endpoints have clear connectivity over the internet to this service. Navigate to mediatest.ciscospark.com to get to this page. This is the Spark network testing tool. It runs in a browser and uh, will validate the connectivity you have to the Spark cloud. When you get to this page, click Start Testing. You'll notice a few things about this. The test checks TCP connectivity and delay, download speed, upload speed, as well as those similar attributes for UDP. Uh, additionally, adding delay, jitter, and loss rate, critical for a seamless and smooth voice and or video experience. The test will take about a minute to complete, maybe less. Uh, as you can see, it's finishing up now. This test is going to return some results. It's going to tell you the firewall, uh, current state of the firewall, if there are any ports that are blocked that need to be opened to allow these services to work. Uh, and we'll spit out a report, which you can see now. In this case, I have a clean bill of health, clear connectivity. To see further details, click the More Details tab. You can copy these results to the clipboard to send to a system engineer that you might be working with. Or if you're looking to make some uh, changes or, or review some requirements on your own, you can click the Spark Connection Requirements option. This will take you to the WebEx help page that enumerates all of the IP, domain name, and port requirements of Cisco Spark. You can scroll through this and see uh, a number of different services the ports, the TCP and UDP ports that they require, uh, and can then go and make firewall changes accordingly. Once this is complete, rerun the test and verify that you now have full connectivity to the Cisco Spark Cloud.